Hey, what's up guys and welcome to part three of the Rise of the Republic DLC playthrough with myself and Pope. Hi guys, hope you're doing well. And uh, we're, we're kicking off where we left off, where I'm literally attacking Messini. And um, Pope is doing whatever Pope's doing up in uh, good old Italy. Not a lot, so, um, not a lot at all. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's um, let's attack this element. Now, um, it's not really worth a fight. It just isn't. So we're going to just roll on in there. Is it, is it just a classic auto-resolve one? Yeah, it's a settlement garrison defense versus a stack. It's just not... Nah. nah it's nothing it to think about. Uh, I remember I was chasing an army up here as well, so it's whether or not they pop up all of a sudden, but they're only half stack. And I've just taken away their uh, ability to recruit after taking a settlement, so Excellent. not really anything to worry about, really. Uh, yes, I'll take that because my general, my leader, in fact, does need gravitas per turn. Oh, there's our army. They're in force march and they're running, which is good. Um, what else can I do here? I have literally two settlements with absolutely nothing special going on in them. Um, hmm. What to do? What to do? Uh, okay, so you are. Yeah, so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to see what uh, other settlements are. There's actually a marble settlement here, which means these guys, or some villagers, are going to specialise in some form of industry and culture. I think for the time being, I'm going to save my money because I just realised I have none. <laughs> the, um, the only special thing around me is wine, and uh, unfortunately, the people that own that settlement are the only people that can want to trade with me at the moment, and I have an integration with them. <laughs> Everyone else has just got boring old settlements. Oh, I just realised I just got rid of a garrison army without realising there's an army next to me. Oh, oh. dear. Okay. Oh. Um, oh, we just have to weather the storm, I think. Oh, I can assign a skill. Um, then we'll end our turn. Oh, okay. Our spy has done stuff. You would be good. Mm, line of sight. Okay. All right, let's see what this end turn brings. I'm a bit worried for... Oh, oh Ooh, dear. Has Carthage done something? Yes, they have. What have they done? They've attacked the capital city of the enemy, and the enemy's attacked them, and they failed. Oh, my Ooh. God, that stack... Of... Oh, wow. Oh, VI oh Carthage is, is on VI's its way. Gone for Rome. VI is... Oh, they? Yeah, they're uh, a little way off, though. It's whether I... Uh... Oh. That's that's a bit worrying. That took a little while to get to load in, but oh well. Lots of stuff happened, I guess. Um, so Rome. Secret band. Jesus. Rome has. Oh, it's some. Oh, we've got oh. some good units. To be fair, I could probably probably defend. Send you from Ostia to Rome. Um, and then I could possibly hire. Who are the cheapest guys around? Oh, we've now got Italian cavalry and Roman swordsmen. Ooh. Exciting units. Yeah, but it's whether I can. I need to. I need to spend all my money, unfortunately, on destroying um, things. Basically, <laughs> destroying um, old parts of the settlement because apparently, like, that's just not a thing. I can't just convert it for no money. I mean, to be fair, I can convert these for money, but. Not the farms. Oh God! So I'm just looking. I'm just looking at this Carthage army. They have a sacred brand unit in there, which is the best spearmen they have. Oh, okay. It worries me. And they have Carthage infantry, which I'm pretty sure is the only melee infantry they have. Oh. But they're looking pretty beefy. I'm gonna just recruit some Latin spears. I mean, you might get them in time. If not, how many men units is this? Sixteen against. 10 and ours oh, are pretty beefy. Okay. The Roman army is a force to be reckoned with. You're right, pal. <laughs> um, I'm going to go to here. Can we go into ambush? Yeah, we're going to ambush there. See if we can. Trap them. Trap them. I mean, it's not. It's off the road. It's more between. I don't think they can reach. I don't know what. Actually, they've. Are they force marched? Oh, no. They can't reach Cicero this turn. But they can definitely reach Rome. 
and I have to go through Rome if they want to get my other settlement. So we're okay on that. I'm actually going to um, hold Rome and take Vei from them because they've got to attack Rome in two attempts to take it. But I only have to attack their city in one to take it. So that's my thinking. Um, I'm going to give it Centurion for him. There's really not much else I can do. I might try and just... Dipl I mean, diplomacy, obviously. Um, Katakuna? Want trade? No. Umbri? Would you want anything? No. I have no money. I'm sorry. I can't give you anything. I've got not much money even myself. Yeah. I mean, luckily, I've actually spent it on a practice camp so I can get some better uh, morale and melee attack and defense. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I know who I'm going for straight away after this is the Volsky, which is just to the south of me. Because they hate me. Everyone else around me is slowly starting to like me, ever so slightly. Okay. Everyone's a moderate, and I probably could actually get them to, like, go the other way and become. Uh, well, and to give me, like, non-aggression, if I had money to bribe them with, but I don't, because I'd make 500 a turn at the moment. Ooh. The men quickly set up their quarters and start to involve themselves in the activities that resort everyone profits. I've got 10% industry and growth. Both of them very useless for me, because I have no industry whatsoever in my, uh, settlements. I do. But literally. You got that for eight turns, though, which is nice, but literally no benefit at all, because I've just got nothing to... Yeah, I've got no industry buildings. Anyway, Carthage has been wounded by the uh, attack, suicide attack, mm. um, and they're in attrition because of it. So, this is my chance to push up and see if I can try and take the major capital myself. Unfortunately, the enemy is also kicking about in places I don't want them to be. So, it's all just cloud to me. I mean, like you're talking about these places, <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> it's just cloud. Um. I could force march. They could ambush me, but they're not big enough for that. So even if it did, I'd be perfectly fine. So we're going to force march our way down. Because, um, yeah. Uh, Messini is obviously a very important place. So what do we get out of garrison units? Why is that? I just realised why my money's so low, because the mercenary Etruscans are worth nearly 400 gold, but I need them because they're a really strong unit against um, the Veyai's Etruscan oh, hoplites. I'm just trying to figure out myself why I've got so little uh, gold, but it's because I've got f big stack armies and navies and stuff. Mm. Uh, I'm just trying to... What I want to do is get to this capital city of Agrion before Carthage takes it and starts replenishing. Mm -hmm. So if I can do that, then I can take out one of the big armies and consolidate this province, almost. Oh. I don't think there's anything I can do. I think I better just save my money, to be honest. Fair enough. There's some quite good um, stuff for Rome or military. Well, obviously, Rome and military is going to be good. But it like, um, brings down like cost of uh, mercenaries quite a lot. Oh, these people... It's slowing down a lot around a few of these people which I know are in Sicily, so something must be going on down there. I've just had, sorry, I've been given a peace offer. That's, I thought but so. Also, oh, yeah. they're taking a seat. Yeah, and I've given military access to someone as well, because Carthage is uh, coming. Oh, okay. They managed to just walk straight back in and take Cicero. Okay, wow. There's no garrison, that's why. Apparently, yeah, there was no garrison. I you thought, have to let it replenish. I thought there was going to be a garrison of some small amount. And instantly they get a, a full a full stack garrison. What is that rubbish? Oh no! Carthage is replenishing really r alarmingly quick. Um, I. <sighs> well, I'm going to have a huge battle here, I think, which I'm going to auto resolve because I got very good odds. <laughs> it's a huge battle, which eighty-seven percent. Huge, yeah, but eighty-seven percent. I need on another day scrim. Yes, I will. I will uh, <laughs> give in and I won't do it. I'm going to imprison the captured because... Uh, right, and then I'm going to... Kill their army off. 94%. I'm sorry, guys, that I'm doing it, but it get rid of this army straight away. And I'm fine losing Scizra because we can just go back and take it. 
uh, at the end of well, end of next turn, I guess. Um, who did we, we didn't lose anyone there. I'm tempted to see what mercenaries we have and whether we can replace them. Uh, recruitment. Um, I'd rather go down. Um, recruitment cost. I guess we could do. I mean, try and find one that's help. And um, we'll go down to strategist actually. Strategist first. Um, and then we could recruit. Oh my god, these guys are really expensive as well. Yikes. Um, then no thank you. <laughs> I like that. Oh, your feet hurt. Tough. <laughs> You're not allowed to feel pain. Right, so we can... Uh, we'll do that. They're trying to recruit some troops, but they won't in time. Or I won't let them, anyway. Um, you have to recruit some troops unfortunately do I just attack with really cheap guys actually you could interesting we'll do that disband this really elite unit bring in more of those rubbish Etruscans so that's now a full stack but it's full of a load of Latin warriors in fact then we will recruit, unless, we, yeah, we have nothing here we can build currently, so we'll build Roman swords, so a couple of them, and that will give me a little bit of money, but not masses, and then I guess I end the turn. I'm a bit annoyed that I've lost Sisera, but I need to take Vei out, and then we can deal with Sisera after, I guess. So with me, I have got to think carefully, because Carthage is moving a rather larger navy than I've got into my territory. Um, good news is my really big buff army is now in range of my main province, which means I can get some better hoplites. And I've got the uh, practice camp that really should have been built by now, but never mind. Um, <laughs> we're gonna get rid of those units, get our income back up, and we're just gonna. Should I just delete my entire army and go straight for hoplites and just get as many as I can? Do do what you think's best. That's all I'm gonna say. I can get four per turn. No, I'm just trying to think like if I can maximize my income as well by deleting an army then getting an even better one afterwards. I'm but just I mean, hoping that no one doesn't take Ostia from me now. I swear I had a garrison in Sister. Oh maybe I didn't because everything was not converted. Yeah, that would be it. I didn't because everything hadn't converted. I shouldn't have done the farms first, I should have done a goddamn uh, main settlement first. Ah. Oh dear. Ah well, that's my fault. Ah, I know for bronze. Right, let's get this um, research for the Terror of Carthage. That gives me 10 morale, defense, and attack against Carthage units, which is decent. Um, I don't see Carthage really getting too close anytime soon. Uh, how much are these units? Let's try and get our income so we can get at least three more next turn. So, 4, 8, 12, 14, I need to get rid of two more, and I can just about forward another, I think, next turn. Happy days. Right. Um, I guess I better end my turn again. Yeah, so I'm just hoping that something happens soon. Oh, Tarkoon has come down from to take Scissor, I think. Oh, Carthage is... <laughs> oh, sh oh. I'm Carthage being. Is... I'm really messing up this Rome <laughs> game right now. Tarkoon is going to end up taking out Vei before I do, so I'm going to have to go to, have to go after someone else. I have a weird one. Carthage has forced marched away from the city they just took, with leaving it completely undefended. Mm. I don't know what to make of it because it's got no garrison, and it's completely ruined in every way, shape, and yeah. form. Oh, well, I'm going to put um, my army back into Ostia, and then I'm going to march on. AI with this army and we're going to take it by siege in a couple of turns time <laughs> I'm <laughs> going to siege it down because um, basically it's just going to be safer than assaulting um, so we'll siege them down and now I'm going to do something on economy because economy could do with being better um, oh, what's that growth and subsistence from all wealth yeah we'll do kitchen gardens I think kitchen gardens please and then um, 
I could spend the rest of my money on building more of a military, but I don't think there's really a point. Um, what can I recruit in the Y way of 90 and they have uh, worth 90 when they come in? Um, uh, I only get one, unfortunately. No, no, we'll wait. I, have, I better not spend more of my money. <laughs> Things to think about. Yeah, it really is. I'm going to diplomacy. Is anyone what? I need people that want to do trade. In the name of the state. Actually, that's a point. Would. Who are you? Oh, the Samnites and the Neapolis are now at war. Okay, the Sabines, would you be interested in. The day's greetings oh, no, no. Tarkuna, you were the ones that. Trade low. If I offer all my money, moderate. Ah, they still say no. <sighs> pains me. It pains me <laughs> that they do this to me. A sticky situation. It does. And uh, yeah. Ah. Oh. Well, my my someone's Discord. Someone's Discord is going absolutely mad. And it's really annoying me now, so I'm going to end the turn. Sorry oh, about that, guys. Me? No, it's not. No, it's uh, just some Discord channel. <laughs> it's going, oh. absolutely, going absolutely mental. And I was like, oh, bleep, bleep, I'm bleep. pretty sure I turned that off. But it's uh, but it's it's not. <laughs> yep, so I don't know what that Carthage army is doing. I think I'm going to lose a city, to be honest. Jalea, to be exact. Um, which I can afford to lose anyway. So I'm going to garrison you guys. I'm just going to uh, horseback archery. No, I'm going to keep my archers there. I'm going to get rid of these guys now because they're garrison. I don't need to worry about them being attacked. More hoplites. Hoplites are good for the soul. Um, and I will excitingly end my turn again. It's such an exciting round, isn't it, for both of us? I'm trying to take Vei the hard way. Yep. There goes my settlement. Oh, oh boy. I wonder if I could afford that, to be honest, but uh, that's a stack of army, isn't it? It's a stack, and they've got elite units and silver chevrons. Yeah, that wasn't going to be a winning one. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, it sounds like stuff's going on down, down in your part of the world. Okay, so they decided to come out and attack. I don't know why I've got such bad odds. Apparently, I've got r just really bad odds to... They also managed to recruit like a million men while. Uh... Oh my! It's just so bizarre that they were able to just. Huh. Having fun. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fight this. What have we got here? Truscan city guards and skirmishers. Apparently. Okay. Apparently, they've got a good chance of beating me. Uh, we're gonna. Oh, okay. Oh, it's yeah, like a valley. Oh, it's weird. It is. I also... Hmm. 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 You've got reinforcements, haven't you? I do, but that doesn't help me in the short run. Oh, bollocks. Native it? Latin spearmen. What are these peasants with spears? Oh, no, they are literally peasants with spears. Okay. Um... I've got some as well, so don't worry about that. I'm very worried about that. How do I, how do I plan for this? I've got um, um, defenses. I've just realised. So I might, yeah, because I'm attacking you, am I? Yeah, so you better come down and fight me. <laughs> nah, no, come make me. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> I don't actually see them. Oof, they're pretty hard to see. Okay, General, you you've got this. I'm not really sure if these defenses are gonna be any use anyway. That shield's really pretty. Right. Yeah, they're not really uh, you're just gonna camp up there, aren't you? What defences have you even got? You got a barricade in a funny position. Yeah, it's literally. It's, there's no need to have the defences um, unless you're actually going to attack. But I knew you were going to stand on a hill, so 
Well, it's... I haven't got the forces to even attempt to attack you yet. Yeah. Exactly. Truscan hoplites are pretty decent, though. Ooh. Yeah, they are. That's, I can't Ooh. Be got rid of Ooh, do I, do I hold my position? I'm, I'm going to say silence and realize I'm talking loud. Um, it's all right. I'm just, I'm just marching up. Going to kill, just getting preparing to kill you. And, yeah. Uh, we'll march back down the hill after I've killed you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a plan. It's a shame it would work. Uh, yeah, probably won't. I'm probably going to have to go t um, back quite a few steps after this if I lose this army. Looking you, very you pretty actually... though, you're... Your army, very pretty in red. Thank you. Well, I, you also have a uh, cavalry now. This is the first. I do army. have cavalry. Your second army is the stronger army. I just need these guys to hurry up and get a move on. Yes, you helped the general. Helped the general and killed one of his men. <laughs> Bring what have you got anyway? I got nothing. Ooh. I'm starting to think retreat was a good idea. Ooh, no, I'm dedicated to this defense now. It's going to happen. Yes, it is. You're doomed, they say. As they say. <laughs> I'm just holding my breath. Okay, you oh, guys do general, not move quick. Yeah, my general went a long way back, I just realized. <laughs> I sent him a running. Okay, and you've just arrived with your second army. Yes, finally. Oh, men are wavering. Oh, these guys yeah, are like well and truly behind enemy lines. Cavalry versus... Uh... Yeah, I had a feeling. Very weak spearmen, not very yeah, good mates. Swords, not even, not even that. There we go. Now we'll start a challenge. He says. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that you were so eager to go and die. Hello. Who are you? Don't mind me. Right. Okay, it's got very quiet all of a sudden because there's a lot of thinking going on right now. Oh, bollocks. How did uh, that happen? Yeah. Oh, spin. Right, okay. That's a bit shit. Um, it's okay. We'll just keep uh, the good times rolling. <laughs> just keep the good... Oh, brilliant. And you should be on that. In you go. Any say now. Oh, shh. Mm. Yeah, lots of breaking in the middle. Yeah, my Etruscan Hoplites have finally decided to do something useful. <laughs> By turning up. By turning up, yeah, sounds about right. Um, I really don't want you guys to be doing that anymore. For whatever reason, they're engaged in melee. Shouldn't be. I'm not. Uh, You're not questioning it. The intelligence of my men is wavering. <laughs> God, even my Etruscan Hoplites are bloody wavering. They're wavering. Oh, that's not a good How are they wavering? You've just got here. Yeah, that's good. That's what I like to see. <sighs> okay. Work with the advantages we have. Not many. Mm. Oh, you broke a lot there, though. Uh, 
How are you wavering? You've got 90 men. Oh, just... I'm trying to see what actually he's got some abilities, but not many of my guys actually have like abilities like hot play or anything like that. I'm just using what I've got currently, but um, it's getting a bit funky up here. <laughs> Is it getting a bit funky? Getting a bit funky. <laughs> Oh, right into my swordsman. Yes. That tries me to worry about them. Oh boy. Up the hill we go again. Truscan hoplites are holding their ground all of a sudden after nearly wavering. I know, that's what I was thinking. You are so. I'm just worried In that you my go. quality of troops is not going to hold. Yeah, my men, despite wavering half the time, are still pretty beef. Mm. Beefy. In you go. In you go. Oh, you're going to get those centurions. Oh, my gosh. Go, 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 go. 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 Oh, these guys. Come on. Your range infantry must be out of ammo soon. Uh, no, no. We're, we're good for ammo. Come on. In you get. Reform. Oh, oh, love of God, the swordsmen, they're not special, just kill them. Come on, I'm so nearly at this. <laughs> Sorry um, about that, birdie. It's alright, I'm gonna just try and rally these centurions. Or centurion. To be honest, I just need to. I would have won this if I had not brought so many mercenaries. It has just been down to those mercenaries being so trash. Mm. Okay, they've came back. I don't know if I really want them to come back because they're my like special unit. Retreat's always an option. Mm. Oh my god! Your archers have infinite ammo. I swear. Yeah, they do. <laughs> How have they still got stones? Where's your general gone anyway? You got are you running away? No. No, he's still here. Oh, he's in the valley, isn't he? No? No, oh, there he is. He's just he's been in plain sight the whole time. <laughs> Not to me. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Oh. Uh, that was probably the best charge. That's kind of interesting. How are we losing ground? We are not losing ground. There we go. Breaking again. It's going to be a huge overhaul after this war. <laughs> oh. It's still not over, though. Still not Hold over. Level, what do you give me? Bracing, melee defense, shield strength. Shield strength does not help me. No. Oh. Ah, dear. I'm continuing. I want to finish these guys off. <laughs> there we go. This is how we do it. That was... Oh, that was butt-puckering. <laughs> really was. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. If you didn't kill my general, if I was paying attention to my general, I could have... You would have won that. You would have won that 100%. I agree. But Where I did you get all the ammunition from again? Um... <laughs> Just off the floor. We went and picked Evidently, them. they wouldn't stop. Yeah, only one of them ran out of ammunition. God. And just as like all your guys broke it, ran out of ammunition. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. Now I'm just watching uh, the remnants of what's left of my army being run down. Yeah, I'm sorry, but it, it's got to be done. <laughs> oh, wow. The Battle of the Two Hills? Yeah, that's basically what it is. Oh, the Battle of the Two Hills. It's a good name for a time. There's a lot of dead on the floor as well. Yeah, I'll call that a call that a victory. Oh, that was close. That was butt puckering. Oh dear, save that one. You saved it. Oh, it was worthy of a save. Oh. It was scary to be fair. Even our number to you, just uh, bloody stone hurlers. 
Your mercenaries are a bit trash, though. They they oh, do, yeah. do too well. They're good for flanking, I found, but that's about it. Your Latin spearmen, your, your peasant with spearmen, mine did better than yours. Yours got nothing. Yeah, they were really bad. Oh. I think they're dead now, thankfully. Oh, uh, yeah, they're, they're demolished. They're gone. Good, because they kind of just... Uh, kind of just... They're just kind of a waste of space, is what I was going to say, before I tried and burp. <laughs> Ugh. You mean your your peasants with daggers did more? <laughs> God, that says a lot. Yeah, the army's looking pretty uh, pretty. I've already battered. lost three units, so we could, we'll take that. Um, I'm gonna execute, obviously. Um, and then we do. assault Vi next turn, so, which we'll just. We'll do now, I guess. Oh, it actually still doesn't give me good odds. Jeez. Your um, unit quality is shocking. Yeah. Um, if I merge all these units, actually, would that be better? Merge, then we leave with two, and then we could hire... We could hire... Yeah, it is awful at the moment, is this uh, unit quality. Oh, I could bring these guys up. We'll bring these four units up, and then that... And they're all four Roman units. So they'll be... Much needed to the uh, to the cause, <laughs> um, and then we go replenishment rate up. Anyway, and then we attack, and there you go. That puts the odds nice in our favor. Eighty-one percent. We kill this lot, and then we take Vi, but we lost Sisera. Sadness. Is the Vi gone? Uh, no, no, no. They still live in Sisera, but that's that's the problem. They uh. A problem which can be solved. Yeah. Oh, they're building a new building, are you, Carthage? Shame if uh, someone was to come in there and take it. The <laughs> entire city. Uh, knock that down, knock that down. Oh, it's... That costs all my money to dismantle? Jesus. Well, I'm, now, <laughs> I'm now a thousand uh, per turn, so that's good. Wonder of the world. I have now taken a wonder of the world. Huzzah. Right, now let's sort this out. We have... Um, let's do maybe campaign movement or native re unit recruitment cost. One or the other. Oh, we'll go with campaigning, I think. And then you've got, uh, we'll give you commander. Right. And then can we recruit anything? Oh, we can recruit native Etruscan spearmen. How good are they in comparison to these guys? Oh, they're awful. Um, I'll just save recruitment, I guess, for this turn. And I've got nothing else I can do, so I'll pass it over to you. Indeed. And then after that one, I think it's uh, it's probably a good time to call the episode a, a halt, because we've taken VI, and that's where I want to end it, because I'm on a high. <laughs> no worries. I need to figure out what I'm doing in Carthage, because they are annoying me. For the time being, I've now got seven hot plates. They've got uh, a better army. Um, I can only just get more hot plots. I think I get a whole load of tribes, I suppose. Um, what are their morale like? 20 compared to 67. So they left the capital city completely undefended, so I'm just going to rock up in there and take that from them. Thank you so much. Um, now, obviously, it's an industry-led, but we're going to get build that, and I'm conscious that's going to turn into a... Squalor building, which will cost me money and food. So I'm going to quickly build a practice field, delete it next turn to get my money back. And some tech for planning there. Um, I don't know what Carthage's next move is. To destroy um, you. <laughs> yeah, they could try. Um, I don't actually have any money, so I'm just going to move my navy to uh, Hybler, where my barracks is, and that will hopefully beef up the garrison enough to keep it a going. I've got elite hoplites there as well, that will help. And I will move my spine further north. Because if I can control that settlement, I've got a little bit of a choke point here. And you guys are still alive, apparently. Okay. Uh, obviously, they're building another army. It's like they've had a bit of a skirmish with Odyssey's Wonders. Oh. Rather humorously. But um, the garrison's not looking too healthy. Let's see what happens there. Um, oh, yeah, I'll end my turn. Okay, well, we'll see what happens in this turn. Hopefully, nothing too scary. Carthage is being scary. Oh, Carthage is being really scary. Have they attacked you? They've got a second stack. Oh. 
I've literally just occupied the city and they've got a second stack. Oh no. I'm going to have to retreat again. These Volsky like city. to keep moving towards me. Oh, Carthaginian politician. Give sanctuary or surrender to Carthage. Um, we'll take we'll take a sanctuary. Oh, I got 8,000 quids. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? And I've got um, a lot of money as well. Um, oh, go do stuff to yourself. <laughs> um, so now Vei is going to try and reproduce remake that army, I'm going to not give them a chance. So we will uh I don't know actually what we'll do. We'll do Um I'm trying to find we've got ability with one of my uh characters. So we're gonna probably do that one. Oh siege expert, yeah, certainly. Certainly. Ah oh, the problem is though this is a terrible place for recruitment. Oh, bloody hell look at that. Actually, Sorry, I'm looking at the Carthage army, the second stack I have to deal with. Oof, it's bad. Ah, uh, yeah, they've got some decent units in there. Um, I'm going to dismantle everything because I have the money to do it. Um, I will... Um, small farming colony? Or... Hmm. Or have small civil colony. Um... We'll do small smart, uh, small farming, I think. I don't really want to have these troops. I'm going to pull back to here. That allows me to be near enough to VI. Um, or recruit a load of Roman swordsmen. And some more spears. And some more spears. And some more missiles. Oh my gosh, Scrim, I can recruit six units. How many more? Oh, six units a turn now. Oh my god. You know, yeah. eight million gold. Yes, well, I've, lo I've lost most of that 8 million gold now. Most of it. Not all of it. <sighs> now will people like me enough that they will be like, yes, let's trade with this man. Oh god, I need to figure out what I'm doing with my own bloody uh, situation. Let's I might have to do a scorched earth policy at some point. Really? That bad? Yeah, I can't defend. I'm overstretched and... Uh, yeah, I've got my big my bigger stack's getting a bit better because it's got proper mm. hoplites in there now. But Carthage is uh, they've got some pretty nasty stuff kicking about. Mm. Well, I'm going to try and make sacred band again. Jesus, where are they getting sacred bands from? Well, they probably just have like some of the best tech, a bit like Rome. So they probably the good news is quick. next turn Terra's a Carthage is research. So that's nice. Ooh, good. Give me extra attack and defense against them and morale for that matter. So. Um, I could actually transfer some of these units across, make that a full stack for next turn. I could actually, I could do that next turn. But anyway, guys, we're going to have to end the episode here, I think, because it's coming up to probably well over half an hour, an episode. And uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. And if you have, then please like and subscribe for more. Me and Scrum are really enjoying this uh, playthrough. And I think, Absolutely. I think I'm going to win it now. I've got my millions of pounds. Um... But I'm yeah. going to cry if I lose this. <laughs> this is the first proper battle. I'm going to lose it because Carthage are being a bit of a dick. <laughs> oh, well, we have to find out in the next episode whether Scrim can survive Carthage. And until then, guys.